Hi, all this was made using three pieces of free software, all of which work on Linux or Windows. These include GIMP, the GNU Image Emulation Project, Glitch This, a command line based glitch program, and Kaden Live, my go to video editor. The intro itself was made in approximately 30 minutes, and the files used are all freely available inside of a tar.gz file down in the description, which can be uncompressed with 7-zip or pzip or something, and thrown into Kaden Live without much issue, allowing you to see how it was made. It's much simpler than it looks, I promise. Chromatic aberration is the failure of a lens to focus all colors to the same point, and it's actually a beautiful effect that I'm a really big fan of seeing, at least when it's relevant. So I figured why not make an intro out of it, with a different message appearing when the effect happens, which is actually pretty common to how a lot of horror mediums will use it. The first thing I did was capture any audio I need for the project, which is pretty much just the interference noise. Though you can find a thousand different versions of interference online for free, I figured I might as well just make my own since I have access to all the needed pieces of technology. My audio mixer allows me to plug in a 1 4th inch cable, usually used for my guitar, in addition to my microphone. And if you don't know, skin contact with these cables creates a fantastic little noise that I thought would fit pretty well, so I just opened up Audacity and recorded it. Audacity is also free, but it isn't really needed for this project since Kaden Live now supports direct audio recording. The creation of the glitching images were done using Glitch This, which is a Python command line interface tool that glitches images or GIFs pretty easily. I actually really like this program since it comes with a lot of variables, which the guy shows off on the webpage. It's also functional on my two main operating systems, which is already better than plenty of other tools I had to use. I start by glitching up my logo and then importing it directly into Kaden Live, and messing around with the length of it until I get it somewhere I like, and then I use GIMP to create the messages I want to appear. I originally made these with the transparent background, but at the time, Glitch This would use a black background on GIF outputs, so I decided to get around it by just creating the same gray color for the background as it is normally. The original message is left the same, but the secondary message is tossed into the Glitch This program, after that, it's a pretty simple manner of just letting the glitching occur at the same moment, and then just letting it settle back down. I also created some glitch versions of the YouTube and Twitter logo, including my handles, as well as some normal ones, and toss and sync those up as well. I probably should have colored the Twitter logo a bit better, since it ended up being darker than my own logo in the YouTube one, but I can really ignore that. After all of that, what really remained is just making sure everything syncs up and appears at the same time, and settles down again at the same time, and the end result, in my opinion, actually looks pretty good for a 30-minute project, at least.